What is going on guys? Welcome to your 52nd UDK tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be kind of taking things up a notch because if you remember in the last tutorial I taught you guys how to shoot this control panel box and whenever you did it made a nice little announcement appear on the screen and that was cool and all but to tell you the truth I'm getting kind of bored with these announcements they're kind of bland aren't very exciting so let me teach you guys how to do something a little more exciting so the very first thing I want to teach you guys how to do is I want to teach you guys about something called interp actors so go ahead and find a static mesh that you want to work with I'm gonna go ahead and search static meshes and I actually have one in mind statue and the very first thing you need to do is we're gonna be adding the static mesh as an interp actor so let me explain to you guys what the heck an interp actor is an interp actor is a dynamic static mesh it's a static mesh but you know how we like made a building out of static mesh in the walls and floor and windows and whenever we play in our game it would just you know stay there stay a wall stay a building well a dynamic static mesh is a static mesh that can move around it can grow shrink rotate it can appear and disappear like I said it's a dynamic static mesh so we can't just go ahead and drag and drop this right in our perspective view or it's just going to be a static mesh so in order to add this as a special dynamic static mesh we first need to make sure that this static mesh is fully loaded and I'm not talking about like when you drink a bunch of beer you're fully loaded make sure it's fully loaded in the UDK and mine already is because I was playing around with it and whenever it is go ahead and select it in your content browser and now X out of your content browser and now go ahead somewhere near your control panel or whatever target you have go ahead and right click and you're gonna see add interp actor this pretty much means add dynamic static mesh so now we add the static mesh is a dynamic static mesh instead of just a regular static mesh because whatever we do to these static meshes right here they won't change but we can kinda of mess around with this one since it's dynamic now in interp actor like I said we can grow it shrink it rotate it move it around blow it up and do a bunch of cool stuff with it so even though it looks the same right now trust me it's not so now let me go ahead and hop in over to kismet and as you can see I already deleted my nice little play announcement because again play announcements are kinda of boring we're gonna be doing something a lot more interesting I don't even know if I told you guys this already but what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to shoot this control panel box and whenever you do we're gonna make the static mesh which I shouldn't even say static mesh this interp actor disappear pretty cool huh so you guys probably thought that David Blaine and David Copperfield were the only people that can make things disappear uh, uh I don't think so add Bucky Roberts to that list because I'm about to do it so the very first thing we need to do is we need to represent this object in some way in Kismet so go ahead and select this interp actor and go ahead and right click and hit new object variable using interp actor 2 and it'd probably be easier for you guys to see if I added a comment I'm just gonna add statue right above this and now whenever you do that this statue is represented by this object in Kismet pretty cool huh so now you're saying alright well how do I make this appear and unappear aka make it visible and invisible well in order to do that we need to add a toggle switch but not just any toggle switch if we go hover new action and toggle remember toggle is what we use to make our light switch or a light bulb switch on and off what we want to do is select toggle hidden this is a special kind of toggle where you can hide and unhide and by the way unhide pretty much just means make visible objects so if you were to go ahead and first thing we want to do is saying alright we have this switch we're supposed to hide and unhide something but would we want to hide and unhide well let me go ahead and just plug the target into the statue and that way whenever we use this toggle switch it knows we want to hide and unhide the statue right here so all we're going to do now is saying alright whenever we take damage or whenever we shoot that control panel box if we hook it up to this it's gonna hide that statue or make it disappear whenever we hook it up to this it's gonna make it appear which it already already is appeared of course because we can already see it because so that's not gonna do anything but we want to go ahead and hit toggle now toggle is a little bit different 
since this is visible by default it's going to toggle this to off or make it invisible if we started the level and it was invisible and whenever we hit the box it would make it visible so it pretty much looks at what it is currently and toggles it to the opposite so basically whenever we're playing our game and let me show you guys I'm gonna go ahead and hit play from here since this statue is already visible and whenever I shoot this box it's gonna to toggle it to invisible don't believe me well watch closely watch this interp actor right here whenever I shoot it I shoot it and it toggles to invisible pretty cool huh so now let me talk you guys through one last time what we did let me go ahead and give you guys a nice little angle to look at what we did is we first added an interp actor remember this is different than a static mesh because a static mesh in your game they aren't going to change they're going to be there forever however an interp actor is like a static mesh that's dynamic that we can move around make appear disappear do all, all kinds of fun things with the next thing we did is we took that interp actor and we added it as an object in kismet that way we can reference this in kismet and right after that we added a special toggle switch called toggle hidden and what this toggle action does is it hides and unhides interp actors or in this case a statue so we can go ahead and hide it or unhide it but what we want to do is toggle it which pretty much means look at the current state and if it's visible turn it invisible if it's invisible turn it visible and you could do this all day long switch it on and off on and off so that's all I wanted to teach you guys what to do in this tutorial again I'm just putting the pieces together in this tutorial and in the next tutorial I'm going to be building a really well I don't know if it's going to be the next tutorial but in the upcoming tutorials I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a really cool system I'm not going to give it away now but trust me it's going to be awesome so, so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video